Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another unboxing. This is the pack. I'm not so sure the price that I paid for it, but when I will open it and see the content, I can tell you what I paid for it. So it came in this pack, which I'm trying now to open for you. Okay. I have some scissors here. I don't want to ruin its content, so I will try just to, okay, just to remove the outer layer. Okay, like this. And now I can open it. Okay, like this, like this. Hey, it's nice when they include those packs. <laughs> it appears we have a pasta eater from Barilia. And yes, guys, so this is the total amount. So 520 lays. So this, I know I paid for this pack. 520 lays for a Barilla pasta. Quite, quite... Uh, a large sum of money well um, if you're interested the equivalent is 104.99 euros or 111.34 american dollars but let's see the content of this pasta because i'm sure you will like it as i as much as i love its content so it should uh, contain two main two main um, objects but we will see yes so and it appears that i have another one so the box is empty i can throw away it so i think i will start with this one because I think I have an idea what it contains and what I paid for it. So, let me see. I need again my little scissors. I will just cut it from here. Okay, guys, let me see. Oh, I was mistaken. This is a vintage Pelican Nero Brillante Permanente, so in Italian, bright black uh, permanent ink, 4001, Gunther Wagner, I loved it because this uh, is a vintage one, and it appears to have its original content, I'm not so sure I will use it because maybe the ink is ruined by now. But it's a, a permanent ink, so you have to be careful because um, you can uh, fill the piston fillers, but it is uh, quite, quite difficult to clean it after uh, you use it. So this one, I'm, I'm not going to tell you the price because I bought it as a pack and uh, the stuff related to writing instruments, I know what I paid for. But let me see the other ones. So, yes, this appears to be nothing. This, let me see what I have here. I will need, again, my scissors to help me open it. Yes, this, I believe, it contains a writing instrument. And, whoa, a vintage one. A nice looking one. Come on. Sorry about this, guys. So, look at it. I'm not so sure what I have here. It's not a fountain pen. Look at it. Look at it, guys. What should it be? I will uh, show it to you in a moment in detail. So, again, I will place it right over here because it's from the pack of the writing instruments. And I believe also those are writing instruments. Let me open them and show them to you. Okay, like this. And now I think I can, yes, I can show them to you. So one of them is 
this one i think it's a silver one yes it's a nine two let me see aurora yes and it's quite a heavy one it has some uh, but not a personalization but a place when you can write your name but i think i know that this was a silver one so i'm trying to search for the silver hallmark it should write nine to five on it is sterling silver this is a ballpoint pen made for, uh, by aurora and it should have written somewhere nine to five well, you have to believe me, guys. I think it's a good silver one, but we'll see about that. So I will place it right there among the other writing instruments. I have, whoa, this, let me see what I have here. I have here, oh, this is Carvienke, and it appears to be a vintage a vintage piston filler. Let oh my sorry about uh, the zoom. Four forty E F K nib. Yes, this is a Artus fountain pen, and um, I'm not so sure. But uh, if you watch my channel, you know that Artus was uh, a sub brand of Lamy. And in fact, we have here an Artus Favorite. And I will place it right here among the other writing instruments. And the last writing instruments, if I'm not mistaken, this I think is a cross. Uh, yes, a cross. And I'm not so sure what I have here. Uh, yes, this is also a ballpoint pen made by cross. I'm quite curious to see if it's made in America or in Ireland. So, 22014KT gold rolled cross, and this is made in the USA. I have also, yes, cross here. So, guys, for all the writing instruments you can see right here, so one, two, three, four, and this ink bottle, I paid around 250 lays. So, 50.48 euros or 54.97 American dollars. And now for one of my favorite, favorite items that I bought in the last time. It isn't a writing, uh, it isn't a writing pen, but a wonderful, wonderful vintage pocket watch and you will see it's a special pocket watch with the art deco aspect and the wonderful wonderful um, chain you will see what i mean in a few moments well b before i reveal it to you let me tell you what i paid for it i paid 270 lace or the equivalent of 54.52 euros or 59.37 American dollars. And let me reveal the beauty. Right, let me reveal this beauty to you guys. Look at it. Whoa, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful piece. Well, I meant that it had this art deco look and look at this uh, wonderful bag. I'm not so sure if it's a uh, 800 uh, silver version, but look at this face. So let me show you the beautiful face. When you see chronometer written on, it means it was certified by, uh, I believe, a French authority and they are quite, quite precise time-keeping pieces. This has a little bit of a crack here. I wasn't aware of this crack uh, from the picture. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not a crack, guys. It appears that the minutes have fallen, so this is the hour and this is the minutes have fallen from this 
maybe from the manipulation of it i'm sure it can be easily fixed by uh, a repairer of watches i want to show you the beautiful beautiful chain which has this religious theme i believe a catholic saint maybe saint mary the mother of jesus and look at this wonderful wonderful stuff this is on silver but this is a wonderful wonderful time uh, keeping uh, watch i'm not so sure if it can be opened this part i'm not trying to break it in uh, a way i'm not so sure if it works maybe let me see if it can no it appears to be uh, it is a swiss made watch but i think i did okay guys i didn't pay lots of money so for the equivalent of 55 euros or 60 american dollars i think i did okay for this wonderful wonderful art deco look timekeeping piece it certainly had a shock maybe from the transport it was badly handled but at least the glass isn't broken which is a wonderful wonderful thing look at that wonderful uh gl um, the way the light shines on it i love this i'm not so sure of the brand so Balliard or Bill Bay Do 1A. It's Swiss made and this is uh, enough for me and the aspect and this wonderful, wonderful chain. So I think I did alright, guys. If you are a watch guy, you can tell me what you think about this piece. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting my activity by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your time, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Please take care of yourself. Again, all that you see here will be followed by a review. And before I end this video, let us check this strange, strange looking object. Yes, we have here um, engraving Exine Pen. Excellent pen, okay. With a vintage, vintage look. It certainly appears like an Italian fountain pen, but what does it do? What does it do? I'm curious to know what you think about this piece, guys. Maybe the gold uh, nib was removed. Maybe it was a safety feeder. I'm quite curious to see in the comments what you think about this strange looking thing of course it will be reviewed and uh, i will try to do my homework maybe i will find some information about this piece on the internet it certainly looks quite quite good and uh, again with this pack i think i did a wonderful wonderful deal so again i paid for all that you see here around 51 euros or 57 uh, 55 a us dollar so i think i did okay so thank you guys for your time i will see you again at the next unboxing episode please stay safe in this pandemic time have a wonderful day wherever you are bye bye and god bless